is kicking it straight back where it came from, up the line. And as you said, his teammates were in place and screaming on the outer side. Anyway, Melbourne to try and utilise the advantage, but unfortunately, Bernie Vince got cut down. That was a little bit of a present for Kennedy Harris, but the Wolves run out quickly. Great work. And sets up Pierce for another long bomb and another goal. What magnificent forward pressure. Chris Mayne. Have a look at this. And you just see Kennedy Harris and Chris Mayne, the perfect tackle, gets it to Pierce for his second goal. So, well, Ross Lyon will be wrapped with that. I think he's back to his very best of a couple of years ago. His pressure was always there last year. We said we'd we were using him a bit too high, so his hunting territory's changed a bit. He's a little bit deeper, bit more of a tall role, so that's helped him and the team. It's really pleased for Chris, because he never stopped working, and um, we never lost faith in Chris, but we just needed to reposition him, and he's playing some pretty good footy for us. Zach Clark takes it on the wing, and he is, well, he wanted to go, rounded up well by Dunn. So he kicks it up into the sun with a one-on-one main bridge. Perfect kick. Perfect kick from Zach Clark. The, the key there that Zach Clark got inside Lyndon Dunn. Well, the that problem was, then but... Main to just hold his position. Chris Main, one goal, one to his name so far. It was a little bit rightish, but it's still a goal. Yeah, it's it's an enormous uh, stat to you know have 12 tackles for a for a forward um, is just an incredible uh, number of tackles and, and that really goes a long way to us winning the game. That, yeah, for Chris Martin in particular to have the game that he had and, and to deliver 12 tackles is uh, super effort. And swipes it back. Newton oh. sprays it. He was under some duress. Where is he? That's headache stuff, isn't it? But again, look who's putting the pressure on. Chris Martin. Yeah. 